All right, I'm gonna do a video again. Yes, I've got a new product that I want to show. So, if y'all have watched my reloading video and what I do, it's basically just that I'm going to deep prime. I'm gonna tumble the brass, and I deep prime then tumble so that. I don't get my dies dirty because I want to make sure that I'm keeping them clean. But I'm excited about this because what I decided to do, rather than go through low development since primers are very hard to get a hold of right now, I don't want to waste time on low development. What I wanted to do is choose a velocity or a estimated velocity with low wear on the barrel for a six creed more and uh, high accuracy potential potential without having to do several uh, charge weight tests without several um, seating depth tests <clears throat> you know a lot of people would probably say I'm lazy and I'll concede that point you know Eric Cortina does a great series on how to tune your load uh, to your rifle to the system and I think he has the best um, methodology out there but I also think he has a great um, improvement for the system so or at least I'm hoping so so I'll show you what I ordered I don't think I'm gonna need that anymore so what I did is a couple months ago, I prepaid for two suckers. No. I ordered an EC tuner. So I'm gonna do a video on the EC tuner. And what I'm gonna do, this is packaged very well. I'll say that right away. Oh wow, look at that. So the, the laser etching on this is great. The ports are very nice. Um, this is really nice. I, I don't know if y'all can, if you can see that very well, but the laser etching around here, there's a, the, you know, it's like an 11 degree target crown out the front end. That's amazing. That's different than the original model that I saw. And I like this too. It has your uh, 6.5 millimeter uh, bore diameter. It, it lets you know it's 5 eighths by 24 uh, thread pattern. But yeah, this is just, that is nice. I mean, this thing is gonna be super, super nice to play with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with this EC tuner brake on my precision rifle. And what I'll do is I'll I'll show the difference. So when I when I had my I have a table that goes up and down. Don't judge me. Actually let me come back. So I've been using this Insight Arms uh, Heathen Muzzle Brake. I love it. Um, but I just wanted to try something. So I'm going to, I clean this with CLR. So there's a little bit of discoloration on it. And it was pretty dirty at the last match because of all the rain that we've had here in Texas. But you know, I think it's gonna look a little bit better on the barrel as is, but let's see. So let's get this into position. Ah, uh, there you go. You heard that. Okay. So I'm gonna have to back that off just a hair. 
get the shoulder up here kind of tight. Uh, let's see. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm looking at my bubble over, level over here. It looks like we're good. I think we're almost good here. I'm going to try to get this to where the... Oh, man. Okay. I thought I'd have to put a wrench on it to get it tight. And it looks like my... Gorilla hands did the job, but you can't get it off. Oh, man. Pause this for me real quick. Okay. Okay, so... I think I've got this all tightened up correctly. I had to uh, try a few things. So my wrench, which is a very cheap wrench, did not fit around the flat. So this is a lot beefier than the uh, Heathen, as you can tell. Um, I think this is gonna be a good, I don't know, that's just a good looking break. I like this 11 degree target crown. I like, you know, just big this thing is. Um, the machining inside looks pretty good. Uh, the machining outside looks really well, or really well done, well executed. Um, I used a little brass. Um, cleaning rod segment that I used on my AR builds to clean them. And I used to shoot them quite a bit. To tighten this down, I used the fix it sticks level system back here on my Picatinny rail. And also here, sorry, you can probably hear my dog, but um, yeah, this is gonna be good. So basically what I'll do is I'll dial it from zero to one to two. Actually, I think he said go from zero to two to four to six, to eight, to zero. And you can keep going on if you want, but essentially that, that curve is gonna stop. You're gonna do really good at some point and then it should even out. So I'll give that a try. I was hoping to do this earlier today, but I had some errands and things come up that I'm gonna have to run. So yeah, what I did is I just loaded, uh, this is twice fired uh, Hornady brass. You know, it's annealed. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the case prep. You know, I've got a good chamfer and fever on the neck, trim link, so it's gonna be good. It's got a nice bevel on it. I'm using the Burger 105 H4350. I'm only running it, at, you know, around that 38 grain uh, um, charge weight. But yeah, I, I've tested this out to a thousand yards. I know what my dope is. Um, it initially grouped pretty good, maybe half inch, so I'm happy with that. Well, what I'm hoping to do is be able to dial this, get my true, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 groups. Um, not one ragged hole, but just one hole, uh, you know, and and hopefully improve some of my, uh, my accuracy at distance. But I, I think it's going to work good. I've seen a lot of reports, but once I get time, I'll, I'll take you with me and I'll, I'll finish this video. We'll go to the range. We'll see how this actually performs. All right. So we'll come back to that.